It's a pleasure to have you here. And we're going to talk about something very special that's going to serve you well and aid you in your development on your journey of becoming a better man, or a better person, whatever you're trying to do. This is really going to help you today. So I'm very excited to get into it. And it's something that I've been practicing recently and I have seen fantastic results with my mental health and the way I feel every day. So I'm super, super excited to share this tip with you and this practice, right? Because I think it's been slept on. But before we get into today's video, make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all of those things because it really does help me in the growth and the impact that we, are, we can all make and just helping you know, this generation, right? So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Very recently, I had a conversation with my friend Jonesy, which some of you may know. Some of you know, who followed my earlier videos, he's my friend. We would, we basically started this channel together and he's very much similar to me. He's always trying to improve himself. He's always trying to develop himself. He's very disciplined. And uh, one thing that he shared with me that he's been doing recently that I have been sleeping on. I mean, I've been doing my journaling, right? I journal every day, every night before I go to bed. But something he told to me was he recently, he started just opening up an app on his phone and he would start a voice recording, right? He, he has a voice recording app. We all have these apps on our phone, but we hardly ever use them, right? People don't really use the voice recording app. But the way he uses it is he'll just be going about his day and let's say he's driving to the gym or he wakes up in the morning, it doesn't really matter when you do it, but he'll start recording himself and he'll just start talking, right? He'll start, instead of just letting all that chatter build up in his mind, he'll literally start just flowing words out and getting out whatever needs to be said for the day, right? Instead of just letting it stagnate and stew and just brew in his head, he gets it onto something, some type of content, some type of canvas, for all those threads, right? He starts to put them away somewhere. And you know, I, I, he told me he did that. And I was like, oh, you know, that's cool. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a very interesting way to kind of ground yourself and start your day. But it wasn't until I gave it a try that I realized why he does that. It's very, very good for you. And I believe that if you gave it a try, you would quickly, quickly agree with me. You would see the power of something so simple like that. Right? And there's a couple of points of why you need to do that daily that I want to bring up today and how it's going to improve you as a person. Right? It's going to really change who you are on so many levels. The power behind it all really lies in the fact that something is listening to you without judging you. Because normally when we're afraid to speak our mind in public, we're afraid to speak our mind around our family, sometimes our friends because we are afraid of what they will think of us, right? We're afraid of what they will label us as, as if we really spoke from our heart and we got vulnerable, right? But the cool thing with a voice recording is you don't have to worry about it labeling you or judging you or calling you names or, you know, having an opinion of what you're saying because it's a voice recording, right? But it's funny how just the fact that something is listening to you is what changes the whole activity of doing it. Because it goes from, you know, you thinking about your problems to you actually speaking about them. So in essence, you're really getting like free therapy out of your phone, right? Most people use their phone very mindlessly and they use it foolishly. But this is actually a very intelligent way to use that phone on you is you know, do it once a day in the morning or at night, but you need to find time and you're, you might, you might sound like a crazy person, right? You might, if, if do it, do it so people can't hear you do it. So you're, when you're alone, so that you have that judgment gone as well, but you, you need to find time where it's just you and the recorder and you literally flow, right? You literally get out of your head and you flow words out, 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 you let it go right? You don't try to be someone. And that's what one thing you'll also find is if you're used to being somebody and portraying someone that you're not to others, all of a sudden you will start to be yourself with the recording because you'll find that there's no one else to pretend to be, 
around, right? There's no one else to pretend to be for because this person that's listening to you is not a person. It's a voice recording. So there's no act to put on. There's no mask to wear. There's no need for that. So you might find that you start speaking in a way that you're not really used to because for once in your life, you're speaking in a way that is honest and is authentic and genuine, right? You may have been wondering why, you know, why do I feel so fake sometimes or why do I feel like I'm wearing a mask or I'm being someone I'm not? Well, it's because you never probably t take the time to find your authentic voice, right? Your, your actual voice, your actual self that wants to speak from the heart. Right. It, it's very bold to do that now to actually speak truth, your truth, right? Because it's you and you. You're having a conversation basically with yourself because that voice recorder is just a mere reflection of all that you are. Everything you say is a reflection of what you are. So, you know, you could even listen to it back. Listen back to what you said after you spoke all your truth. Listen back to it and see what gems are there waiting for you to pick apart. Right? There could be things that you need to hear in there. You never know what gems await you until you actually let them out. But you need a canvas so that you can look at it and analyze it and break it down and see that what steps you need to take in order to grow as a person. Right? Because uh, until you do that, you'll just be guessing. You'll just be guessing at what's the next step? What do I need to do? What does my soul want today? It's like, no, speak your truth. It's all in here. You just need to let it out, right? Air it out. And then you look at it and appreciate it and you say, thank you. Now I can work. Now I know what direction to go. Now I don't feel so lost in my mind. This is free therapy. Having something that's listening to you without judgment is literally priceless. Who else is doing this? Right? If, you, if you know my channel, if you know what I'm about, I love doing things that people don't consider doing, that people find out of the box and taboo, especially in today's world. You want to be as different as possible from everybody else. You don't want to be like everyone else. Not right now. Right? This is the way things are. You want to be complete opposite of the way things are. Right? You want to you know, remove from the sheep mentality, go out and do something weird because if it's weird, guess what? It's freaking cool. Right, weird stuff is cool. You do have so much gems in your mind. You have a lot of potential. It's not always gonna be bright and sunshine either. You might uncover childhood trauma that you suddenly start talking about, right? Uh, someone bullied you in the past and all of a sudden you're bringing that up or you know, some type of traumatic event that happened in your past that you suddenly want to discuss because you know, your soul wants to grow and work through things, but you stayed stuck in the past somewhere. So to bring light to it is to bring words to it. So when you speak on it, now you're starting the process of working through it and letting it go. So now finally you can keep growing and become the person you were destined to be. Because these things are kind of like, you know, packages in your attic that are weighing down on you. So you'll start to feel this feeling of relief the more you do this is like, you're going to carry less and your energy is going to be lighter and you're going to be able to laugh more and just be more happy in your present day to day moment and be more in the moment because you're not going to be so stuck in your head thinking about your problems. You already worked that out first thing in the morning when you started to articulate your thoughts and you hit the voice recording and you just flowed from the heart and you just let it out, right? You let that out, air it out, right? You, you, you're, you're so just muddy in the mind. You're so stuffy up here. You can't breathe in yourself. You can't just take a sigh, right? You can't slow it down and enjoy the damn moment. So, you know, it, it sounds so simple, like voice recording. Wow, how does that translate into me becoming such a great person? Well, it's like, well, you need to follow the loop. You need to follow it down in the kinetic chain of like all the events that transpire from you just speaking from yourself, right? But you need to be free enough to do that and you need to be vulnerable enough and trusting of yourself enough to know that it's okay. Nothing's going to happen. And what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You're going to laugh at yourself for even trying, right? But what you're going to find is that it's medicine. It's medicine, right? We need to get out of our heads and speak our truth every day. 
If we don't do that, we become rotten. We, you know, start to follow trends and we start to follow other people's stories instead of tending to our own movie, right? You start, you know, fall in love with your own superhero. You're the hero of your own book. Why do you have to be in everyone else's business? Your business is interesting. I want to hear your story, right? The voice recorder wants to hear your story. It wants to hear the authenticness of everything you have within you. Be as vulnerable as you possibly can be. Practice that vulnerability, right? Who's going to listen? No one's listening. It's just you. When you start, and I know you're going to start because Nature Boy's super passionate about it, and I, I know I inspired you to try this because it, it's, it's working. It's, it's working. It's worked so well for me that I know you have to give it a try. You know, I hope you're excited to give it a try because it's, it's fun. Like having that, that ability to just flow and just go, right? Don't think about the words. That's the thing too. You're going to want to think about, okay, what do I say? Like that's the first, that's the first thing. It's not about what you say. It's just that you're saying something, right? You create a momentum of talking. It could be about anything, right? Um, but I would, I would say this, and it's before you start that session, ask yourself, ask your soul, what is needed to be said today, right? What needs to be said today, right? And then just sit with that and just wait, right? And you'll see and you'll feel that it bubble up in you, right? Like, like you can't resist it. And then boom, you're talking, boom. The words come out effortlessly and you don't stop it. You don't get in the way of it. You don't resist it. You let it flow from the heart, right? And what you'll find is, is my favorite benefit of doing this too, aside from all the trauma healing that's so apparent, is the fact that you are training yourself to literally go into flow states as well. Because when you talk and you just follow the momentum of your words, you don't really think about it too much. You're just literally flowing from your mouth, it seems like, like blah, right? Just vomiting words out. You are going to find yourself in this beautiful flow state, this conversational flow state where you're not overanalyzing the things you have to say. You'll notice that in my videos sometimes where I'm literally just speaking from my heart and the words I'm saying all seem to cohesively mesh together in this cobweb and it all comes together and wraps full circle. And I don't really mean to do that. You know, a lot of my videos are unplanned and I have no structure to them. And a lot of the, you know, the power of why I can do that is simply because I've practiced free association, like, you know, talking into a voice recorder or just speaking what's on my mind. And there's a lot of power to just speaking from your heart, right? If you, you might ask yourself, how do I speak like nature boy? How do I have that authentic authenticity? I have an accent sometimes apparently. How do I have that authenticity, right? And that's exactly how I do it, is I practice speaking without judgment. I'm not speaking, 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 judging, judging, judging myself as I speak, speak, speak. Like, no, there's no judgment. That's why I'm able to talk to you and I'm able to be vulnerable sometimes and make these videos is because I'm not judging myself, right? I, I think that this is badass that I can do this and that, you know, I, I'm just speaking from the heart, right? Because most people are too afraid to do that. So I'm just happy that on some level, I'm inspiring you to give it a try and to trust your own self and your own intelligence because it's there. You just need to let it flow, right? That's all it is. Flow is a beautiful thing, right? That's why things like Tai Chi and Qigong are so, you know, priceless as well. Energetic practices that let you flow energy through your body, right? There's a reason why Bruce Lee said, be like water, man. You want to flow, right? Because flow is that thing that keeps you relaxed but alert and it keeps you in this sweet spot that you're able to contend with life not be apathetic but able to go out into the world and make it your own right any type of things come up you know challenges arise it doesn't matter because you're prepared at all times always ready to just ebb and flow right you're never too attached you're never too controlling you're always willing to let go of attachment right Letting that filter in our minds that loves to overthink every little minutia of conversation, every little word that you want to say, and it just dissolves. It's gone after, you know, 30 minutes of, 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 of riffing and talking and, you know, 15 to 30 minutes, whatever it takes, or even an hour. 
talk for as long as you need to. But it's just like, watch that, that, that dictator of a mind of yours start to slowly dissolve, right? You're going to find that there's no place for it in the land of flow, right? It, it really doesn't exist at that point. Fall in love with your own voice, right? Stop judging yourself so hard. Stop being your, 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 your own worst enemy, right? You've got to side with yourself. You've got to accept your flaws. You've got to accept who you are. And this is a beautiful beginning for you if you decide to do this today. Why not start today? There's no, you know, unless you're going to bed right now, I don't know what time of the day it is for you, but why not start today? If not tomorrow, start soon, man, because time is short. And before you know it, you're going to wish you would have started a practice like this, right? So I'm glad I shared this with you. There's a bunch of voice recording apps all over, you know, the app store. You probably already have one in your phone. If you don't, go download one. Don't sleep on this, guys, right? I literally get my phone and I'm like, you know, lap, yep, 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 yep. I'm literally talking into it like I'm on a phone call, just speaking my mind, speaking my truth, literally with a phone in my hand and I'm just going, right? That's it. It's as simple as that. But I really, I really wanted to share that with you because I know some of you wonder, you know, what I do daily, the things that I like to uh, do daily, <laughs> the disciplines I, I, uh, I, you know, I choose to do for my own life that keep me sharp and alert and complement the nofap and retention that I also do. So I'm going to be getting into those um, as, as you would like to know, right? So it's all coming shortly. It's all coming soon. We'll get into each discipline as they arrive in these videos. But uh, don't overlook this one, right? Don't sleep on it, right? Don't put it off. Try it. If you try it, you will never go back to any anything else, any other type of journaling. Still journal, but just know this is like, this is the stuff right? This is potent. Okay. So have fun with it though. Enjoy it. I'm glad I could share this with you today. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm sending you peace. I'm sending you love. I'm sending you many blessings all your way. Have a great day. See you in the next one.